Okay, ladies. Occasionally, people ask me about how I do my makeup. And far be it from me, I'm not a makeup lady, lady. Um, but I just, you know, I do me. <laughs> anyway, I like to keep my makeup fresh. Um, and as you can see, the most important part of doing any kind of makeup is the foundation. Okay, so my skin has been cleaned and uh, prepped with Lancome Genifique Serum. Get that queen. Queen. You about to catch a beat. Anyway, Lancome Genifique. And I actually use the entire line of Lancome and I've been using it for about 20 years now um, and I'm very very pleased with you know how it keeps my skin moisturized and as far as like any kind of black circles which I don't know some of that might be genetic I'm not sure but I live by Lancome now with that this is going to be a quick tutorial and it's just really about getting the basic of, you know, a uh, chill look. You know what I mean? So here we go. So first I'm going to spray my face with some Urban Decay um, face moisturizer and slash makeup step. So I like to do this so my hair don't get wet. You're supposed to hold the six to three inches away from your face and then you let it dry. I try to help it along. Fenty, and this is a really a glow SPF. It is getting cold outside. Hmm. So I may go with something a little different, but it just depends because I'm going to be in the house. So what we're going to do is, we're gonna put this, it's awesome. It's very light and I love it because I don't like a whole lot of makeup on my face. See that? And so what you see is I like to still be able to see some of the imperfections on my skin because that's just what makes you look normal okay you know, cake it on like a cake face okay that's not cool that's not cool so you know any kind of foundation that just um masks who you are i'm gonna say um you know it's up to you it's up to you Right? Okay, and, and I will say this for the ladies with skin problems, you can uh, go ahead and work on your skin issues by keeping it clean, keeping makeup off of it when unnecessary, like walking your dog, going to the grocery store, etc. Give your skin time to rest and just be. You know what I'm saying? Because Sometimes people put on the cake makeup to cover imperfections. However, when I was younger, one of my big things was, you know what? I'm going here and slap some Vaseline on. <laughs> yeah, I'm dating myself. Put some Vaseline on it and roll out, okay? Because I didn't want to make any kind of imperfections or impurities on my face worse. So, once again, this is the Fenty Skin, and it is a wonderful. So, my girls in the South, y'all gonna need this all the time. Mm -hmm. It works pretty good. Uh, this is a Laura Mercer um, pressed powder. I like to use it. It's just a quick stay. In addition to the um, 
all nighter. It's it's just another way to keep the greasy look down. With my fluffy brush. And you want to just be able to go over it because you want your skin to be like a little candy. So this is the finish for the Lancome. Uh, no, Fenty. Um glow stuff this is Lancome Tintador SPF 15 and um yeah 24 hour color and as you can see I'm gonna use a little bit Let me get a little bit out of here <laughs> okay there we go so I'm just going to put a little bit on because I'm looking in this camera and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, okay, you know, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. I'm going to need to put a little more coverage under my eye. <laughs> and notice, see, you really can't tell the difference. Because the Tintadol, if I'd have used it, the Lancome Foundation, if I would have used it alone, you would still see how light it is. It just has a more of a, a color translucency. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it's what the Lancome people say. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, so what I do is I try to sometimes, um, some of the Fenty, I love it, don't get me wrong, but sometimes some of these colors based on your skin tone, which you have to figure that out, you know, you have to see what works best. I like, I don't like, I love my skin, yeah, 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 so because of that, I don't like when my skin looks too pale I guess that's yellowish I need color cuz I'm a colorful person and colorful people need colorful things hmm let's see that's a little better right <laughs> that's a little better <clears throat> now we have to work on these lack of having some eye brows. This is Anastasia. I love Anastasia eye products. I have a few of these, but this one, as you can see, because it's almost gone. <laughs> this is the chocolate brown. Oh, chocolate brow powder duo. The other one I have, I believe is more of a urbanish color. Cause you know I'll be playing in my hair and attempting to match my hair to yeah, my my eyebrows to my hair. Yeah, that. So so what I like to do first is to start out with the darker side. get it on my little pimp little, little little brush and so I usually lift my brows up because I don't have a lot and it helps me keep the line straight so I'm gonna do this with the angle in facing inwards and I'm gonna go See, you can tell some definition already. Now, let me go on top. See, look at that. Mm, that's cute. <laughs> I 
Okay, so then I would probably just do a couple little X's here and bring it up just a little bit. Now, in the interest of not double dipping too much on the dipper, do the other side before you do the fill-in, at least I do. Okay. So now what do you have? You have the beginnings of eyebrows. They look all natural. I use my tongue. Because why not? It's my fucking spit. <laughs> it's my eye. Mm. Oh. I wouldn't do this with somebody else. Dip it in some water. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna do a little fill in with the lighter brown. Let's give it a nice, soft, natural flow. Not look like you used a black marker on your eyes. Not, that's not cool, because if that's what you like, do you? I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just like, hey, <laughs> that's what I do. People like, how you do that? How you make us up here? And I'll be like, okay. Far be it from me to tell anybody what to do. <laughs> I love to look good. Looking good makes me feel good. And... It's just, you know, sometimes you just be like, oh, okay, I just want to, oh, good. Everything ain't got to be a party. Although it could. <laughs> a little party, don't get me wrong. But every day don't got to be a party. And so this is not some kind of... Notice how that just changes everything. I, you can roll out the housewife too. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Got me a nice smooth palette. Got me some eyebrows. We wrecked together. To do a little um, extra definition for the eyebrows and to do that you're gonna use a concealer a natural color this is some Maybelline or is it Revlon this is some Revlon this is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills um, you know, Magic Touch Concealer. That's what it's Anastasia of Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. Now, I don't use it much for concealer. Um, I really use it as a definition for my eyebrows. Cause see, I don't have eyebrows. My mama don't have no eyebrows. I ain't got no eyebrows. We eyebrowless. So, what you do? That's just my wonderful job. Now, we use our Anastasia and put 
a little bit on the edge of the brush. A, you want to use a, a rounded angle brush for this. And you just want to go right below your eye line. Let's just say your eyebrow line. See? See what that did? It just said BAM! <laughs> It just lightens it and and what it does is it creates more depth depth and you know anybody know me know I do art paint I don't ever show nobody my art but I do it anyway you, you never want things to look one-dimensional you know what I'm saying so you have to add color to add depth and to change something from being flat to being more um what's the word you know I mean like a ball you know what I'm saying like if you see a ball and it's rounded but it's got darkness on the one side why because it's a circle and the light hits differently So, so in doing this, there's often an opportunity to say, okay, I'm good. I don't need no eyeshadow. You know what I'm saying? Just rock. Because after I do this other side, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Mm. Once again, you go just under the eye line. Don't worry about it getting whatever if you if you have to do it over just do it over <laughs> i wouldn't say go over it i would say um go ahead and wash your face start over. <laughs> no i ain't gonna say do that but you you know for the eyebrow you can easily just um start over my makeup is so light that I wouldn't, you know, I'm never really worried about starting over on this. Um, because I use a very light touch as well. But that's because I'm an artist. Oh. Now. Oh, what a thing. Okay. Now this is a little makeup eyebrow. So what you want to do is you just want to look in your eye, get this, okay, and just pull it out, okay? That gets it more, um, blended, and it also gets away any kind of debris. Sometimes the skin around your eyes are drier than other parts, you know? And so, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> girl, don't tell me nothing about my eyebrows. We done. Yay! Now, what's next? Well, we got the fun let's see what we want to use do we want to use Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl oh yeah we do we actually don't need to go anywhere what's this one? Oh, this is one of my favorite palettes too this is called I ain't sure Anastasia Beverly Hills. But which one is this? Duo Shadow? Okay, that's what it is. But what's the name? Uh, look, this is it, okay? Go to the store and find it. I can't. <coughs> I've wasted crap on it. So, anyway, but, oh, girl, look at that. I 
Oh, what? That's some party right there. That's some party hardy hardy colors right there. That's some, mm, mm, mm. But we're not going for that today. <laughs> we're just going for regular regular today. So we're going to use Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl. Cinnamon Swirl. Which one is missing? Love the bun you're with. I think I broke this one. Because I don't use these too much. Um, I've got a few more. Oh, yes. Oh, this is the bomb right here. This is um, Pat McGrath. And these colors. Ugh. Okay, these are some highly pigmented pigments. Too serious for what we finna do. Two faces bombed on. Okay, so I'm wearing purple, purple, purple. And I really would just like to put a little depth to my eye um, crease. And then just put a light wisp on the bottom. So let's see how this works out. <laughs> this I use an angled brush for because it's going to go down into my eye creasy cre cre creasy okay y'all work with me because I'm, I'm new to this is my first this is my first makeup tutorial how them girls be doing that they be like right up in the camera how you put on your face if you in the camera like that that's what's up that look hard <laughs> so, excuse me y'all i am silly silly over there building something on a hill messing up my makeup tutorial with that noise between them and this doll I don't even know okay now Okay, so, and notice how I went up just below where my concealer is. Okay, and so what I like to do is even out when I use a dark color a bit. This is a blush brush that typically has a little blush on it and all it does is just take a little of the harshness out of the color you can also use your little brush like this and so you just want to tap 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 bring a little of that out You know, because, I mean, where we're going to do smoky eye, we would do something a little different. But this is like a half smoky eye. <laughs> so, where's my other brush? Oh, these brushes, they're everywhere. Okay. Now, just for fun, we're going to go ahead and use this. that one called ready set bake I don't know why it's named that oh I don't know why it's named that okay and so we just want to stick that right around the, the lid hmm. 
The top part of your eye. The part that connects to the eye. <laughs> Subtly pretty that is. I mean, it's not like uh, you know what I'm saying. It's just real subtle. Now, if you want to dress it up, just a tinge, then you can go into this um sugar, sugar, sugar rush. What it's called. She was. Okay. And so I may put this a little on the front. And when I do that, sometimes I pull it across so it gets on the bottom eye. And that just sort of acts as a opener. So now that we've got our eyeshadow the way we want, we can finish it up with a little liner. And I usually like to use a liquid liner, but I think I'm out. So we're going to use the old fashioned pencil. <laughs> Let's see if it comes off properly. I usually just take this over because I don't have the thickest eyelashes either. So this just adds a little bit of definition. It could be a little better if this wasn't the most uh, maybe not the most useful pencil. Well, let's see what this is. Oh, is this the thing? Let me see. If it works. Oh, this is what I bought recently. I can't tell. Because it ain't working the best either. When I was in Nevada, the place where I was at didn't have like a lot of makeup. <laughs> and I think. I just bought like whatever they had sent me on the counter next to the Dr. Pepper. Shoot. <laughs> it ain't the best. I need to go buy some more makeup, but I haven't really needed it as much lately as I've been working out and staying out the way. Incognito. Hmm. Let's see, split some of this on the bottom and see if it works better. That's good enough. So you've got your makeup, you've got it lined properly. Now, I previously said that I don't have a lot of eyelashes. <laughs> My doggy be true. So I use this um, Lancome and it's the Cliss. Cliss Booster. It is just um, a primer for your eyelashes. Goes on, looks sort of white. It don't look sort of white. It is white. But it dries dark. And you just put it on and let it dry. 
before you put your mascara on and it thickens your eyelashes and it holds your mascara on actually a little better than wipe off on your clothes and I'm such a messy Marvin that I can have on the most beautiful sweater, dress, shirt, <laughs> whatever I'm eating, doing, or whatever is going to be on the clothes, believe that. Queenie Beanie, cut it out. Queenie, I told you I got you, I'm done in two minutes now. Give me that crap. Okay, so you want to be careful to get all of your eyelashes all in there. The only thing I like to do, especially when I put the mascara on, is I go both ways with it. I go on the bottom and I go on the top. Now, when I mean the bottom and the top, I mean the bottom and the top of my top lashes like this. And it just separates better. And it gives you better coverage. So, while that is drying, we're going to use our Pat McGrath Labs blush. And this blush is a blush without caution. Yeah, that's the name of it. Uh, I don't know. Fabulous flirtations and exquisite seductions I don't even know the name of it is okay it's lightweight violet slash lavender okay you know the more expensive the product the more creative they like to get with the name okay boom it is a mix of blush and pepper Call it smurples. <laughs> okay. Now, I started out wrong because I should have been putting this right up here, but I was being goofy. So I'm putting it up here on my brow bone. And I'm going to be using my. Um, Ugh, this is the bomb. It just broke and I'm mad about it. Okay. This is my um, Charlotte Tillery bronzer. And you want to just go right up into your cheek um, cave, I like to call it. You know, like the indent. You can put a little on the other side. And you just want to do that enough for this little definition. Sometimes I like to pat it, you know, so that it blends good. That's all you need for that. And then you can pat my graph. Because this is second part. You want to do this second. I did it first. But then I did it first and I'm going to do it second again. And then you just go around with that. And just, you know, go ahead and put a little spin on it. Because you want it to be seamless. And that's cute. <laughs> Okay, you just put that on and let it go seamless, seamless. And then if you want to, you can 
go ahead and give it a little, you know, get any excess off. And then I also like to use a, 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 which bronzer is this? This I've had forever. Uh, I don't know. It's called Highlighter Reloaded. Some revolution. I don't know. But it is a very nice bronzer. And it's particularly nice. And it matches with my skin to go on my nose area, chin, and you can even give a swipe up to the top of your um, other brow makeup. And you use your little brush. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is well blended. <laughs> I guess this is what they is this what they mean when I say beat your <laughs> I guess that'd be a good goofy all the time. <sighs> okay. This is the Lancome Idol. This is so good. I might be running out, but it's so good. This is the one Zendaya is the spokesmodel for. I want to be a Lancome girl. They should call me Lancome. Holla at your girl. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Okay, guys, you're probably wondering, oh, she's not putting on lashes. No, I'm not. Why? Because I'm a boss. No, it's not because I'm a boss. Bosses wear eyelashes. I just don't. Because why? I'm allergic to a whole bunch of stuff, number one. Number two, eyelashes are so so hard to get right and as a lawyer slash business person I can't be having people looking <laughs> looking at my eyeball and my lashes popping off and you know what I'm saying I'm talking serious business right now Cause I can't help it. When I see a lash that's lifting or halfway off, I just be like, wow. Do they know it's like that? You know? Cause let me tell you, honey. And every purse I have where I go out and I try to wear some lashes. It's some lashes in that purse. Cause your girl can't do it. Shit, get the itching. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. It's like torture. It's like being warped. No, I'm going to say that. But it's torture to me. I ain't doing all that. That's cute. My doogie be doing stuff behind the camera. Okay. Lastly, we're going to use. Oh no! I'm running out. Hmm. My favorite lip pencil. It's in a chocolatey color, and I really love it because it's a great liner. And once again, for my ladies, we're going to harken back to the 80s. Please stop lining your lips with black. 
okay it's not necessary it's just not necessary to have hundreds of colors hundreds hundreds and so I like to use a nice chocolate because it's not that my lips need defined you know because they don't all right that's fine pretty good pretty good but it just makes them pop more so to finish it all i have this cute purple matte glossy thing by myx and purple is my favorite color because i'm an aquarius and aquarius is amethyst and amethyst and uh, we were a purple baby. Purple is for queens, royalty, and all of that is me. So let's try this. <laughs> okay, so you gotta squeeze it good. Ah. See? Squeeze it real good. Get it out. Ah. And these are really good when you're when you're layering, layering. And it fits in my purple dye. I'm stupid. I swear. Okay, I'm gonna feel. there oh where's my sparkly color and then we're gonna use this cheap um sparklies from the local cheap store <laughs> i don't think it got a name it's called cheap sparkly and you put the little cheap right down Here. And then you're done. Mm. And make sure you put some of the sparkly up on the top lip so it can have that effect. Now, so for all my makeup girls, this is a quick tutorial about just presenting with a fresh makeup. Don't let nobody tell you that you gotta have all that stuff on. Cause you're down. I'm 55. And I know my skin looks like. Anyway, this your girl Sonya with Deliberation with Sonya. Like, share, subscribe. If you want me to do some more makeup tutorials, let me know. Hair, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I might, I don't know, this was sort of fun. I might want to do this. Ha, ha. I got like a million pair of glasses. I'll be like, Lord, what I look like, what I look like. I have to have my different various glasses. These actually work because notice that they're like a purplish, pinkish. Oh, these do work. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, y'all. This is Deliberation with Sonya. 
And hey, that's how you do a grown woman makeup look. You had to eat, ain't you? Yeah, hell yeah. Do a grown woman feed a damn dog look. <laughs> Cut it out, queen. Hey, I wasn't messing around. Look at you touching everything.